17 new this morning, an anesthesiologist may have discovered a way to save a patient's life when the heart is about to stop and nothing else is working. It's not a new drug, but the effects of a signal, single vitamin uh, that it can have on our body. Julia Fellow shares this research that could save countless lives. The discovery happened back in 2015 during open heart surgery. A patient's blood pressure was plummeting. Nothing was working to bring the person back, not even adrenaline. You're kind of running out of options. So my colleagues started giving vitamin B12 and the blood pressure magically kind of started going up. Dr. Julie Freed had no idea the instantaneous response would save that patient's life. Huh. How is this possibly happening? Dr. Freed has been searching for that answer ever since at the Medical College of Wisconsin. When you started looking under the microscope and doing this, like, what were you thinking? It, it was almost hard to believe that, again, a simple vitamin could have this kind of effect. With one squeeze, she's going to show us how it works on this tiny human blood vessel. See how it's starting to respond? Oh, wow. It's getting and now it's getting smaller, 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 smaller. A side effect of B12 is that it can increase blood pressure, which in this case is a good thing. Dr. Freed also found the vitamin can clean up something that appears when you're dying or have a bacterial infection, like sepsis. When tissue isn't getting enough oxygen, it could be releasing this compound hydrogen sulfide. Um, and that's what the vitamin B12 binds to and kind of says nope and just kind of takes it out of the circulation. She believes B12 could be a game changer for treating sepsis patients. It's what the infection does, which causes low blood pressure. How many lives do you think could be saved now? A lot. Dr. Freed was able to do this study through scholarships, and one of the biggest was $25,000 raised by the Steve Cullen Healthy Heart Club Run Walk, which is happening again next month. And I am one of those serving as honorary chair on behalf of today's TMJ4. You can sign up for the run by clicking on the story at TMJ4.com. Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.